Okay, this is week 11, lab 09, using dynamic uh, host addresses or DICP server, okay? So what we are going to do, we are going to build this circuit. Oh, what is it? This one. Yeah, this circuit. In this circuit, we have router one, switch, two switches, and each switch is connected to laptops and laptop and PC. Uh, switch one is also connected to a dynamic printer. Okay, so let's configure it. All right. We will stick to the router names, router models also. Uh, so the router is 1941. All right. We choose the router from here. Am I recording? Yeah, recording is working. Very good. Okay. So here we have router one. Router is 1941. And then we have two switches. One switch is here. One switch is here. Okay. We'll connect cable. Which port is connected here? Sorry. Which port is connected on this side of the switch? Look at the drawing here. Very good. And on the router, it is giga Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay, now we have also some computers here. So we have one PC, right? Yes. And laptop. laptop PC. And pre and a server or another PC, huh? Another PC. Okay. And then we have a one printer. One. Printer is this one. Where is it? Uh, yeah, here. This is a printer. Okay. Now we will put the cabling, please. I have one cable here, Ethernet. And which switch? Which? Uh, Huh? Zero one. Okay, and from here I have Well, uh, that's what I thought from. Okay. I trusted you. <laughs> okay. Hello, it's okay. It's okay. Because this is for uh so this one is wrong also. Yeah. Wait, wait. Okay, here, one more time. Shaba, please look at the diagram. Here, it's up zero, one. Okay. And here, it is up zero, two, right? Three? Okay. Two. Okay, there's one more. Ah, okay, one more server. That's why. Here, we have a server. Because they are going in order for the RP addresses. Okay, good. And here it is, fast Ethernet 2. And this is the, very good. Now, now I know. Here we will go with fast Ethernet 4. And then we have 5. Okay. Do we have another PC or this is extra? It is there? Okay. Can you call your colleagues here? You have WhatsApp or something? Call them, please. Thank you. Okay, Shabab. That's it. Now, we'll do the same thing here. So I have a cable connecting from this router gz slash zero one to the switch which port zero five very good and then how many computers i have here one computer and one laptop yes one pc and one laptop very good and then we have the cables here one and here we have Good. Okay. 
All right, now let's put the IP address this at this side. I will change the names now, one by one. So let's come to the computer here. Config, what is the computer name? PC what? PCB. PCB, very good. All right, it's a static. Uh, this one. E. 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 Ah, okay, E, all right, E. Sorry, because I'm not looking at the diagram, all right? Close. I hope you are all following, please. And then we have this one here. Configure laptop A. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. This one here. Let's continue with the, the computer here. Let's do everything. Desktop, IP configuration. What's the IP address? One, what? One zero. Ah, ten dot three. Dot three. Dot three. Subnet mask. This is class A. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and class A. Okay, close this. We are done with this one. Laptop or? Laptop. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Wait. This one is here. It's hey, four people. Four people. Here? Hey. Okay. And it is E? Hey. And the IP address is correct? No, IP address. Ah, uh, okay. 10.2. Yeah. 10.2. That's a different net, uh, net address. Okay. Thank you. It's better we do the same. All right? Okay. Now we do this one. Please let's get it right this time. IP configuration for the laptop. What is it? 10. Dot three dot three dot three. Okay. What's the default gateway, by the way? The default gateway is the IP address of this router. And what is the IP address for G0 slash 1? 10.1.1.1. Dot one. One. Very good. All right. We are done with this side. Ah, by the way, let's close this. Now, you see the link here? It is red. Why? Because you need to go to the router, to the, config, to the configuration. You need to come to the Ethernet 0 slash 1. Bring it on. On. Yani no shutdown. So it's closed. And we close it. So now it will turn green. All right? Now one more thing. We need to give the IP address here. What is the IP address of the router? Here, this side, 10.1. 10 10 wait, wait, here, this one. What is the IP address? G0 slash 1. 10. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, dear. 10.3.3.3, right? Ah, dot one, dot one, dot one. Well, okay. Dot one, dot one, dot one. All right. Close it and it's on. That's it. Very good. Done. So you see how all green. Now let's come here and then change these names. Server. But here, there is one trick. We are not going to give them IP addresses. We are going to give them DIC, to get their IP addresses from the DHCP server. Dynamic. Yeah, dynamic. And the DHCP server is this server. So to do that first, always make sure, please, listen to me carefully. When you have a DHCP first, configure your router interface. Configure your router interface. Otherwise, the router IP address might be leased to another computer. Okay? So we'll come to the router here. Interface 0 slash 0. What's the IP address? 192.168.10.1. Great. And then what is the... Here we need to switch it on. Don't forget that. On. Closed. Okay? For the router. Yeah, now we'll come to the server. First, we'll change the name. It, what's the name of the server? 
Very good, very good. DHCP server. DHCP. By the way, this is similar to what we will do in the practical and in the competition. Okay, what's the, uh, the DNS uh, default gateway is what? Which is your switch, which is your router interface, 192, 168.10.1. That's your router interface. Okay, there is no DNS. We are not using DNS here. Okay, now we come to services. DICP, is it on or off? Off. We need to bring it on. Click on on. What is the pool name? DHCP. Yeah. The underscore Very good. DHCP underscore. DHCP. Ah, DXB. Okay. Students. All right. Default gateway. Yeah. One ninety two. Dot one sixty eight dot ten dot one. So that when I give the IP address, I am also informing the PCs and computers where they can go. All right. The start IP address. Yeah. Oh no. This is. This is please. This is on the DSCP server. The DSCP server. It has a pool of IP addresses, and it will be giving IP addresses automatically. You don't have to go and statically assign. Okay. Understood? So now here, let me close it and then show you one more time. Uh, here, look. I click on the server. I come to services. Turn on DSCP. You see DSCP. Turn it on. This is my server name. Ah, okay. Because I closed it suddenly. Okay, it's the XCP. Again, give me the pool name. The uh, XCP. Students. All right. Okay, it's good. It's good to repeat it for revision. 192.168.10.1. Okay. Now, what is the start IP address? 192. What is the start IP address of the pool? 192.168.10 and we are starting to give from IP address number 3 and what is the end? 192.168.10 ah oh, okay yes yeah, sir this is the subnet mask here yeah, correct this is a class C, so we'll make it class C. All right. Okay. Start IP address. How many IP addresses? Me 10. So we'll put 200. This means we are going from 3 to 203. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we'll click on save so that it is not deleted. All right. Server name cannot be modified or edited. A new pool will be added. Okay. All right, done. Okay. Now I will close this. And this is our server. That's how they put their decision. Because one is already given to the router. And two, they want to give it to someone else. Okay. All right. Now look what I will do here. This is easier. It is much faster than static IP configuration. You click on the printer configuration. You just choose the ICP. Wow. How about that? Done. Now click on this PC configuration. How about that? Shabab? Okay. Here, click, configuration, DICP. Even if you click here, it's the same. DICP, close. Here, same. Desktop, IP configuration, DICP, close. Now look what will happen. What is this PC? Com uh, it's getting an IP address. What's the IP address? 
No, still, it did not get. It will get. 192.168. It will, yeah, yeah. It, it will take time. It will take time. It will take time. You can switch it off and then turn it on. Then it will. Uh, okay. Yeah, we will ask you which one to do static, which one to do dynamic. See here, I will click on the laptop to switch it off. So can I switch it off from here? I think there is one. Yeah, how we switch? Okay, now we switch it on. All right. I was not seeing the color, the light. Okay, close this. See, still now it does not have IP address. Just wait, okay? Shouldn't take long time. Just turn it on. Wait, wait. Desktop, is it static? Yes, yeah, static. DNS. Okay, ten services. DHCP. Okay. What happened? Why it's not saved? It's is it saved. Okay, ninety-two. DNS ten dot three. What's your question here? 192.168.10.3. And this is maximum number of users. Yeah, that's it. All correct. All correct. Khalas. We are good. We are good. Alhamdulillah. Let's switch off and then switch on. Switch it on. Okay, now you can go to the computer, click on desktop, command prompt, type IP config. IP config with slash release. I want to release whatever is there, okay? Now I will do IP config renew. It will get a new IP address from the cell, from the DSCP cell. DSC request failed. Why? Let's troubleshoot that, all right? We have done all the steps correct. IP config. IP config. Slash all. I have a feeling that the DICP server is not turned on. It's not turned on, I think. Service is on, interface fast, Ethernet zero. There is one step is... I <coughs> Here? Here? Other? Yeah. Oh, it was not saved. Ah, uh, oh, it was not saved. That's why. Okay, okay. 168.3. Uh, 
10, dot 2. But before we entered dot 3, but it was not safe. Oh, that's why. Yeah. No, leave it, leave it for now. Okay. All right. Close. Yeah, now it's working. Okay. Yeah. 